I'm interested in, in the sounds that people don't want. For instance, when we play a record, we don't want to hear the surface noise, the, the pops and the clicks of the scratches. But those are the sounds that I'm interested in. Those are the sounds that I want to use in my music. I'm interested in the sounds I can get out of this vinyl record, you know, what can I do? These are some of the one-of-a-kind records that I used to make. I can, you know, cut the records and slice them into different pies. I started getting interested in sound through performance art. The late 70s was an interesting time because punk rock was just arriving on the scene. For me, punk rock was very liberating. It allowed me to play music uh, without having to study music. Not having an instrument, really, I started manipulating the turntables, and this would become my instrument. Christian was using turntables before hip-hop, before they were thought of as an instrument unto themselves. It fit in with what was happening, but he was particularly unpredictable. been interested in how sound is visualized. Video is interesting for me because it allows me to comment on that relationship between a sound and an image. Almost every movie has a phone scene, and I mix all these phone conversations to create this sort of abstract, absurd conversation. Hello? 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 In the mid-80s, I started making sculptures. For me, it's, it's really part of the same process. They don't necessarily make sound, but they are about sound. Recent sculptures I've made are these sort of impossible instruments, like, uh, you know, a 25 feet long accordion or uh, a drum kit where the highest symbols at 13 feet in the air. This guitar is cast out of rubber. It's a Fender bass. So this, this phallic symbol is in, is in desperate need of Viagra, as you can tell. I've always been sort of in between being a visual artist and being a, a musician. You know, people in the art world don't understand that really the thinking is the same. It's part of the same process uh, of thinking of, about sound, thinking um, how we live with sound and how it influences us. 